Yo, what's up? My name's Petrowski, and today's a really exciting day for some Pokemon randoms for two big reasons. First of all, I have two days left to earn myself the Sceptile, and I'm only 140 points away. I have earned every single matchmaking reward except for that Sceptile, so we should be able to make it. Secondly, I achieved the highest rank I ever have in Pokemon PvP in random battles, being at 650 plus ELO on the Veteran Trainer ranking. Nothing crazy high, but you know what? It's pretty cool for me, someone who prioritizes uh, PvP and Pokemon as what I call the third out of the three most important things in the game. Which I usually break down and I usually consider to be shiny hunting, uh, money making, and then PvP. And PvP is sort of the third most important thing to me on out of those three. So honestly, to reach a really decent rank like veteran trainer, I'm really happy with that. It's not something I like, you know, focus on the most. I, I'm pretty happy with it. It's it's sort of a side thing for me, but I still really enjoy it. It's nice to be able to load up into some PvP and feel like you can hold your own uh, and focus on something to improve on, at least to some extent, right? So today we're jumping to some battles. I'm going to try to maintain my high rank, my veteran trainer rank, uh, and I'm going to keep trying to win some games and work towards that Sceptile, man. I love I love earning free competitive Pokemon in Pokemon. So we're facing down game one. Let's go ahead and actually do some game analysis. We are Leftovers, Espeon facing down Kabutops. Now, Espeon does have a specifically weak defense stat. Special defense is decent, very similar to a lot of Psychic type Pokemon. Um, I could just straight up go for a Psychic here. I know that I'm faster. I could also go for, I could go for like a protect to scout, but I feel like that's a waste. I do really want to check out this Kabutops special defense stat. I feel like Psychic might just kill this thing. And I think I'm faster as long as he's not Choice Scarf. There is a possibility he's Choice Scarf. Um, we have Sunny Day Vileplume in the back. Let me scout out the rest of my team before I make a move. I could also go Blastoise, I guess, if I want to show that, but I don't, but I can't really answer it well, so I'm not, I'm not too keen about showing that. I want to make my way over to Rhydon as soon as possible to set up rocks, probably. Maybe Mawile. Yeah, Mawile can go too. I'm going to go for the Psychic play. This is a pretty greedy slash risky play, but I could do a lot of serious damage here. He goes for a Rain Dance. Interesting. So he's going to set straight up, set up Rain off the bat. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with that Psychic play. Um, but now is the time where I probably want to make a switch over to Blastoise. This is probably, yeah, I probably go over to Blastoise now and tank the two attacks on him. I'm happy to keep my Espeon healthy. He also might go for a Leech Life here. I'm trying to think. I think I go Blastoise and go for the Scald in, in Rain. I think that's, I think that's the play. I think that's my best option here. I think that's totally reasonable. The Waterfall only doing 23% even in rain to Blastoise is super good. Blastoise is a pretty freaking tanky Pokemon. Do we see his item? Do we see his, um, we don't see Life Orb or anything. I'm going to go for Scald here. He goes for a Stone Edge. Could have technically gone for Counter here, but I'm pretty sure that Scald kills. And Scald's also better on the Switch. So, Scald's actually, yeah, Scald's the better play there. If I'm sure that it kills to Boot Ops, which I was pretty sure it killed. Okay. Let's go ahead and check. I want to once again just look around, see what's going on. So Meganium comes in. Obviously, this thing is this thing could go for like a Leech Seed or something here, expecting a switch, or it could just go for the straight up Giga Drain. What could I bring in into it? I think going into Vile Plume could be really good in setting up Sunny Day. I think of what else this thing could have that I. I think Vile Plume is just the perfect answer for this thing. I think I pretty much always go that. Noctowl is not bad as well, but I'm not able to answer it with Heat Wave very well due to the rain. I'm gonna make the Vile Plume switch. <clears throat> Four times resisting. The possible Giga Drain on the Switch is super nice. Yep. Doing so little damage. And now I'm super free to go ahead and set up Sunny Day, I'm pretty sure, which is just gonna be just gonna be so good here to get Sunny Day up for my Vile Plume. He brings an Armaldo, which I think I actually can answer with hidden power. No no no. No, I actually cannot answer it quite well. I guess I could solar beam. Honestly, yeah, I think I I'm dude, I'm happy to stay in here and neutral solar beam this thing he might set up stealth rocks he might stone edge i think this is a good matchup for me honestly i'll take this i can't imagine he has any sort of attack that one shots me here i need to yeah yeah yeah, yeah stone edge yeah does, i know it doesn't one shot it's close but it doesn't one shot i'm super happy with that now ooh, the one meme is here i really want to like sludge bomb here expecting a meganium switch but I'm a little scared Sludge Bomb doesn't kill. I'm going to go for it. Okay, it kills. It's really risky there, but there's a really good chance he switches to Meganium on the Solar Beam, expecting me to chip myself down with Life Orb damage. I'm at 0.8 here. So I'm going to get off one big attack before I go down, which is super nice. He could have, he probably has Sucker Punch here, I would guess. 
Oh, let me go for the step. Let me just stay in and go for the step sword. That's okay. Even if he has sucker, I think I just let this thing go down. Maybe I could have sat down for a second and thought about that a little more. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. This thing is still normal typing. Hmm. I'm wondering if now is a good time. I'm trying to think. I think now is the best time to set up rocks. I think that's I think now is the best time to set up rocks. Pretty sure he has drain punch though, which I'm a little scared of. But I think I'm gonna go right on, set up rocks, and dragon tail after. I wanna set I wanna set up my I think this is like the best time to set up rocks. Yes, perfect. He switches out too. Flygon comes in. Interesting, interesting. I wonder if a Draco Meteor is coming out here or something. I wonder what I go into this. Do I have any sort of ice type attack? Ooh, I had hidden power ice. On my vile plume but it's gone now that actually would have been super super good against this i think it might be worth for me to stay in and just go for the dragon tail did huge damage off i don't think this thing ever one shots me there's also a chance okay it's earth power it's special attacking it's always tough to tell what i was about to say there's always a chance that it goes for a dragon dance 46 percent is so huge though plus we switch it out we you know mess up his tempo we possibly get more information but no we see technicon meganian flagron this is a really great game one i'm pretty happy with this what are the odds this thing is slower than me? Hmm. Part of me really wants to just EQ here. Man, this is weird. Do I keep right on around? What could I switch into here? What do I go for? I do have stealth rocks up. How do I want to play from here? I want to wish pass over to my... Wish passing to my Blastoise might be relevant. I mean, ah, no, it's not that crazy, though. It's not, no, it's not that crazy. It's not that crazy. This is tough. This is actually tough. I think I'm just going to go for the EQ here. There's a possible... Yeah, let's check his speed. So now I know that he's 118. I guess I could have assumed that, because I think 73 means he's Trick Room set. And I don't think he... I don't think he... I think he went to Trick Room before. But I know he's not Trick Room. What can I bring in here? Do I just go knocked out? I, I know he has Drain Punch. What did I see before? Drain Punch. What was the other move I saw on him? Totally forget. He probably has Return. I know that he's 118 speed. What can I bring in that's barely... Is this thing faster? Nice. Okay. You might just bring this in and literally just go for Iron Heads. But then he's going to get changed and... Uh, it's so awkward. Really awkward. I'm not going to lie. Pardon me, I, I, do I just come in on Noctowl and start setting up? I'm just scared from Noctowl taking too much damage. I think that's probably my best play. Just bring in Noctowl and go for the setup. I'm really scared of him having access to like Ice Beam or Thunder Punch or some weird shit. Did he have Thunder Punch before? I forget what he had before. I feel like he had an Elemental Punch. I should be able to live at least one. Okay, just Drain Punch. That's actually fine. I go to 69 after Leftovers. Do I want to go for another? Am I faster than everything? No, I'm only faster than... Okay, I'm going to show Hyper Voice. I'm only faster than his tech. Like, his his Flygnaut and Meganium both outspeed me. Oh, this damage is so... It's actually a really bad trade for me. Oh, no. This matchup is actually so bad for me. Oh, man. This is so sad. I'm, like, giving my Noctowl here for free. This was not the play. Man, this is unfortunate. It sucks how... Do I need... I don't think I need this Noctowl. Like, it, hit, it hits the Meganium. But I'm not super scared about dealing with Meganium. Meganium seems to be pretty easy as ever a Pokemon to generally deal with. So I don't feel good about it. This is a terrible play by me. Do not look at this and, uh, and, and replay these situations. This is a bad play by me. But now I can safely bring an Espeon and just go for a Psychic, which is nice. But still, man, not a good play by me. Not good plays there. I also could have just gone while well, well, I'm gone for Iron Head, I guess. But I like the Psychic play here. He just brings in Meganium. I think you're going to take pretty good damage here, no? 34%, not as good as I thought it would have been, but I think I'm happy to just stay in here and go for Psychic. I could also Signal Beam, I'm lefties. I do, I might, I probably kill with Signal Beam. So Psychic's 90 plus 45, ends up being what, 135? Signal Beam's double to 150. Signal Beam might just KO, I was, no, 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 it will not, absolutely not. If I have to like crit or something. Yeah, it'll do a little, do a little more, 40%, I'll take it. We get a nice confusion here, goes for the Synthesis. Yep, it's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. What's the chance for confusion? Ten percent. Wonder if I want to go for a wish. I think I think I'm I'm in the position where I just I just keep signal beaming. 
and he has to just go for the if i get a confusion or or a crit that's awesome um i want to look to wish pass as well over to i think here i wish he's at 95 percent i'm gonna wish here there's no way he synthesis is here i'm gonna wish here giga drain 30 percent is pretty brutal that means i also can't wish pass over to blastoise which is really unfortunate Oh man, even though Silver does more damage, I wonder if I psych it just to get that that drop. Is there a switch I can make here? Am I fat? Why is my game so fast? Oh man. This is tough. This is tough. I feel like going for the drop. I feel like staying on Espeon is actually my best bet here. But it's so it feels so weird. It feels like it feels like a bad play. I, I hate slow play. I hate like feeling stuck in a 1v1 like this. Okay, Dragon Tail, so we stay in here. So I'm, if, if it goes in a Blastoise, oh, it's worst case scenario. It's a 50-50 chance there. If it goes in a Blastoise, my wish would have happened on Blastoise, and that would have been so good for me. I mean, Mawile is awesome. I mean, it's, it would have been weird though, because my Mawile is slower. So I mean, this is fine. Giga Drain's not going to do too much to me at all. 18%. Let's see how much uh, Iron Head can do to this guy. Probably not that much, unfortunately. I'm hoping for... Okay, 37.8 is honestly a lot better than I expected. I guess Life Orb Mawile, but dude, I'm taking huge damage. This Meganium is a pain. This Meganium is a huge pain. An Iron Head here again. Ah, uh, yeah, dude, I just can't... I can't answer this. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, what an annoying Pokemon. What a lame game. Come on. Come on, Meganium. That's so unfortunate. Maybe I should have kept... I'm going to go back over to Espeon. Maybe I just should have kept my Noctowl around. I feel like I really needed it. Do I just start Wish Pass? Do I just play slow like my opponent and just start Wish Passing to everything? I can just go ahead and do that. That was a really smart Giga Drain, though. Oh, it puts me in such a weird position. Do I have to protect here? Oh, this is so awkward. I have to protect here to stall another turn of Leftovers and hope that I live... Let's see... I mean, well played to my put on that Gadra. He did 32.2 last time. What's he been doing like before that? I'm going to wish here and hope that I live. 32.6. See if he gets the roll. 25.7 on the Dragon Tail. Last twist comes in. Man, this becomes a really boring game. Meganium really slows down this game. Makes things unfortunate. Makes things unfortunate. I really want a mirror coat, but I know I just die, like from the Giga Drain here. Is there any other player I can make? I would love to wish on my Espeon, but obviously he's going to Giga. Um, I feel like sacking my Blastoise or risking it here. The issue is I feel like this is my only path to victory. I'm trying to think if I have another path. The other path is very slow and boring. I don't like slow and boring games, so I'm going to risk it. Even though, yep, I die. So that's going to be GG's. Unfortunately, gonna knock me out of Super Veteran or whatever the fuck. Um, pretty boring game, unfortunately. No one's fault, just... I had a team that didn't have enough damage to break through Meganium without having access to Noctowl. And then even then, Noctowl would have had to boost it up and have Heat Wave. Like, it's, it's crazy that Espeon can't do enough damage to break through Meganium. That's nuts. Like, that's actually crazy. That's actually so shocking to me. Um, that's so unfortunate. Why am I... These Dragon Tails, like, why am I faster there? We countered? Okay, well, yeah. Well, it turns out Meganium just hard countered my entire team, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get out of this one. That's okay. Yeah, that's just really unfortunate. Maybe my opponent, like, I guess, like, what I give props to there is my opponent clearly knew his win con. He knew his win con was Meganium, and he could see that his Meganium answered everything on my entire team except for uh, Bioplume, which it couldn't really hit that well, and then... um. Was it Noctowl to some extent? So he, I think he realized like I had two answers for it, and if he could get rid of those answers or dwiddle those answers down, uh, whittle, dwiddle, I don't know if the word, whittle them down, he could he could really easily sweep and just stall it out. So honestly, I mean, smart analyzation play, like understanding your win cons and understanding how to weaken your opponent's team in a way that's going to kind of guarantee you victory or strengthen yours is super, super, super important. So that's okay. Kind of a boring game, but at the same time, it's how randoms go. That's okay. Let me go ahead and jump into game two and see if we can get a better one, a more exciting one. Chancy lead. Not looking super exciting, but maybe we can do some dumb shit. I've been able to do a lot of dumb shit, per se, with Chansey. Dude, Chansey just feels insane. I mean, who would have thought Chansey being 
powerful. Fancy just seems insane in randoms, being able to just seismic toss people to the moon and then it's being impossible to answer. Should be a fun one. We've got Chansey, Leftovers, Plusl. Don't love that. Plusl's a very, very frail Pokemon. So seeing Leftovers, Wish Pass, Plusl, a little weird. I'm not the best Wish Pass user as well. I'm not super familiar. I don't use it a whole lot. I'm not familiar with it. Besides in randoms. Uh, we do have Stealth Rock setting Torkoal. Okay, we're Mr. Yeah, we're facing down Chansey versus Mr. Mime. Really good start for us. I just go ahead and... It's funny that we don't have... T I would, I would have loved T-Wave here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go for the Seismic Toss. He's going to set up screens. Okay, a little scary, but should be fine. That's so much damage. 38%. Once again, pretty slow start to the game, unfortunately. But, I mean, it's, a lot, it's really good for me, but slow. Uh, we have Mamoswine in the back. I love Mamoswine. That's Curse Amnesia Mamoswine. What is happening here? I love Mamoswine. Um, I think it's such a cool, offensive, powerful Pokemon. Really cool to see stuff like that. Uh, I'm sure he'll size toss again. He might go for like a teleport here. He might just, if he's just sacking his Mr. Mime to set up double screens. I could arguably switch here on the on the part the probable teleport. Um Healing Wish. Wow, he's really committing to whatever Pokemon he's bringing in. I respect, I love like risk, I love plays like this. I love turbo setup into bringing in a powerful Pokemon, so I respect this a ton. I do really wish I had, um, he's gonna high jump kick me, pretty obviously. Um, I really wish I had, uh, what's it called here? I could go over to Torkoal, like fine, and try to set up rocks. I think Torkoal's a good play, defensive wall to some extent. So I do have a pretty good, like, defensive core on my team. I really want to keep Torkoal around if possible. I don't want him to just die here. Oh no, yeah, well played to my opponent. My opponent's playing very... I love this. It's very all-or-nothing strategy, but man, is it cool. Can I even risk setting up rocks here? Honestly, I think my... Does this have Sucker Punch? No, it doesn't. It's, it's special. It doesn't have Sucker Punch. It's unfortunate. What priority do I have, if any? I don't have Ice Shard. I think my best bet here is actually to Fire Blast. I think it's the, what I, the way I have to play it. It's 214 speed. It outspeeds like everything. Yeah, I have to Fire Blast here because I can't risk. Yeah, I've looked at that. I'm really glad I did. I need to get. A, I, please hit the Fire Blast. If this misses, I'm, it's probably GG's. Okay, 42%. Beautiful. That's what I wanted to see. Like, I'm sitting over here thinking, like, I know that I can't get rocks up this game, which sucks. It sucks that I'm not gonna be able to get rocks up this game. Um, but man, it's it's the only like it's the only way I can ever win this game. So now I can essentially sacrifice my Torkoal um, and bring in Mamoswine to Ice Shard this thing. And that, like, takes care of such a huge threat. And Ice Shard should... Yeah, there's no way Ice Shard ever doesn't kill us here. So, yeah. I mean, this was this was a really big deal. Like, getting getting rid of this thing... Um, yeah, no, I'm really happy with this. Now, I do have to think about... He actually still has his Healing Wish. I'm pretty sure. I have to think about that. Healing Wish. He didn't activate. So, the way Healing Wish works is... You have to switch in a Pokemon. If I'm not mistaken. You have to switch in a Pokemon... That has taken damage. But he still has his healing wish in the back. I'm quite sure. I'm really surprised he brought in Relicanth here. Um, I'm not going to go for the curse. I'm going to go for the... I could Amnesia, honestly. I don't have any sustain. I just EQ here always. Wow, that did really little damage. Wow, that's actually crazy. How does he... That was... My opponent's a Giga Brain, I feel like. Understanding those trades is nuts. Also, he's aqua tailing me in the fucking sun, and it did s that much more damage than me. Are you kidding me? Oh, he had reflect up. Ah, I forgot about that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think EQ should do like 50 here now, right? Or a fucking ton? A lot more? Yep. I'll take that. I'll take that. And aqua tail still doing less because of the. Okay, I got. I, I, I. That was a noob mistake by me. Not really, truly considering. The uh, state of the battlefield. I definitely didn't consider um, sun being up and the streams being up enough there for sure. Let's see if he, if he has a second flying type to switch in here on the EQ. I'd be very surprised. Game two looking pretty good though. I'm pretty happy with how this game's playing out. 27%. I feel like my opponent. I like the way he played it. It's pretty crazy, but I, I I love I love like screen healing wish over like committing fully to something. Very high risk, very high reward. I like plays like that. It's fun. Um, it's, it's tough in randoms specifically, 
uh, can be really, really tough, but man, is it fun. Um, isn't this thing, I was figuring this thing's not flying, right? So I can actually EQ this, which is kind of nuts, which is kind of nuts. Um, what are the odds this thing KOs me? What are the, what's my base special defense? I think I have to like Ice Shard if anything. I probably could make a pretty good switch here as well though. What's, what, what move is he going for here is what I'm just like so kind of, I, what is he going for? I don't know, I'm just so, I'm just so baffled on the nice. I mean, I think this is a fine time to give my Mammoth Swine. I could arguably keep it. Probably, maybe. Man. I also really want to EQ here. This thing's... What's this thing's defense stats? It's a fucking Beedrill. What's its... I'm gonna, I'm gonna Ice Shard. I'm gonna Ice Shard so that I know I at least get some chip damage off. 40% is super good chip. Um, and then if he happens to go for like an SD... Oh, it's a crit. Okay, that's why. Um, yeah, oh, Brick Break actually kills. Okay, okay. I see you, Beedrill. I respect it. So, I thought that he might have Brick Break. I'm not gonna bring in Chansey, obviously, because of that. This thing is not of static, right? It's plus and minus, yeah. Um, but I'm faster. There's a good chance I just bring in Plusle and Discharge and KO this thing, but it's kind of close, actually. Um, Brick Break is gonna hit this. Brick Break does not hit this. I can bring in Scyther here, and, um, Swords Dance, I believe. What's my speed stat? I'm Lumberry, 196. Yeah, this could be a good path to victory, honestly. I think this is the perfect time to bring in Scyther and SD up. I'm, I'm not Eevee Light Scyther, which is weird. I'm Lumberry Scyther. Which honestly could be really relevant. So I SD up here. Hopefully don't have something faster. You have Metagross, which is probably going to be able to tank all of my attacks, unfortunately. That does suck a, a, a bit. Um, actually, it doesn't tank these nearly as well. Is it Technician or... Oh, it's okay, we are Technician. I think Bug Bite does more here. But I always forget the way Technician damage works. Um, I think it's going to be... Plus, is it plus 1.5? Dude, I always forget the way Technician works. So I think it's making Bug Bite 90 BP. And then adding stabs, like plus, it's like 135. I think Bug Bite actually does more here. And also CC uh, lowers my defenses. So I'm going to go for the Bug Bite play. 58%, we can two shot. Nice, I'll take that all day. Cosmic Power. Yep, just a boring setup Metagross, okay. Gotta get past this. The Bug Bite's not going to kill here, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I don't kill here. Um... Part of me wants to SD again here, but I'm really scared of um, rest or something punishing me really hard or agility. I was scared of because you see cosmic power like plus agility and like into like stored power or some dumb shit. So I'm, I'm happy with this. This is the safer play and I have, you know, four Pokemon left alive and he has one point like six if you count like like one and a half plus this metagross is about to go down most likely or he'll he could make a switch here into like beedrill which i think does it four times resist the bug bite or at least resists it oh he just goes for the ff honestly i respect it putting us at 649 elo are you kidding me one point away one point away or not even not even one it's 0 0.49 0 0.49 elo away from uh from the veteran trainer rank unfortunate what's the other rank called Ace Trainer. Okay, so we're at Ace Trainer, not Veteran Trainer. Eh, who cares? Fair enough. Let's go ahead and go ahead and try to jump into Game 3. We're 100 points away! We got 40 matchmaking points from that, so we're 100 points. That's only only 3 wins, isn't it? I think I could get the Sceptile today, which is nuts. Wow. That's really exciting, man. That's really, really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I, it's been a while since I've gotten a Pokemon reward from PvP. The last one was Ambipom, which is like forever ago. You know, oh, wow, that's really exciting. I'm not even like exactly sure how I'm going to make this Sceptile. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do something. Um, I think I'm going to get just special. I think going special on Sceptile, just full special, uh, allowing it to be like a choice specs, honestly, or, or just Life Orb or something is nice. I like the idea of being able to go acrobatics and like making it mixed and be able to go acrobatics. But honestly, I could also see myself going Dragon Dance. But the issue is with things like Dragon Dance, Sceptile is like... Obviously, it's more setup reliant, and he's already so fast that Dragon doesn't matter. I think Sceptile is nice in NU because it's a fast Pokemon that with, like, choice specs, it has, like, an immediate impact, and that's what's so good about it. It was the same thing with, um, with, like, why Venusaur was so good. Like, Venusaur didn't have to set up when it was in NU. It would just come in and put out fat sludge bombs and fat Giga Drains and, like, that. That's why it was good, right? It wasn't, like, it wasn't... 
reliant on setup and that's like that's that's a powerful tool in itself being able to just come in do immediate impact and, and, and you know not to worry about that i really li i'm prone to setup mons i really like setup mons because obviously setting up on a pokemon and sweeping feels really good so it's really nice to be able to just but it just you have to kind of like you know be like hey you know what i don't need setup on every mon i guess i guess i can just you know be reasonable and have some mons that have immediate impact which is really important you probably should have like four mons on your team that have immediate impact and maybe one to two that set up is probably the general the general rule looking at evie uh scald cedra here really good especially leading into the blaziken i'm so free to just go for scald he's definitely going to go for a switch here but even so like even if he goes as something that totally resists it just having that 30 percent chance at burn super good I also like this team. Just the first two. I love Quiver Dance Blossom. I love seeing that. You could drain Moonlight, Hidden Power, Ice. Love me some Quiver Dance Blossom. We have two Chlorophyll Mons with. Oh, it's Choice Scarf. Okay. It's Choice Scarf Blaziken. We gotta remember that. Really good information. Choice Scarf Blaziken. Oh, we're gonna be able to just beat this thing down. This thing shouldn't. Oh, we get a burn too. This thing's physical. I'm pretty sure this thing. I'm pretty sure it's physical like all the time with. um with like Excisor and Shadow Sneak. I think he's just kind of sacking it. I'm gonna go for the Scalds. I think he's sacking it to chip my Cedra. If he has like a, a Giga, okay, okay, that's fine. I was about to say, if he has like a fucking Choice Specs Giga Drain coming out right here, I'll be so sad, but what can you do? Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just Scald here. He's probably, okay, he's Life Orb. We see this set a lot. Dude, this Aerido set is so bad. I honestly could have just switched here, I just realized, because Life Orb plus Burn would have KO'd him. And I didn't think about that. That was my mistake by not even taking the time to try to think about that. 193 base speed. Primeape comes in. Uh, I think... Looks like Weezing's probably a good check to this thing. Weezing's looking pretty strong. I could Will-O-Wisp it as well. Oh my god, Weezing, let's go. What's Dragonite looking like? T-Wave, Dragon Tail, Roost. Oof, looking pretty good as well. Does he have Static? Oh, it does have Static. And it's double streams. This team is kind of nuts. This team is kind of nuts. I'm going to go Weezing here. This team is kind of... Plus, it's Rocky Helmet Weezing. Oh, my God. This team is actually filthy. One of my favorite... One of my favorite randoms teams, man, that I've seen. This team is legit filthy. I hate this Tropius set, though. I hate that it's Stally, Toxic, Leech Seed, Sub. Super lame. Um, oh, man. I really want to go for the um, Will-O-Wisp here. But if he goes Blaziken, kind of bad. But I think I'm going to go for it just in case still a good play even if he makes the blade like i don't think he should ever go blaze again here because it's a physical attacker into a physical oh, also a really great switch okay i respect it he's gonna tank he's gonna absorb the willow wisp there yeah well played well played um that shows me this thing is probably special and it's probably about to set up sun i think i can live in sludge bomb i'm gonna go for it he goes for a willow wisp i'm super fine with that Super fine with that. Only 37%. Okay. Pretty disappointed by that damage. Not the best damage, unfortunately. This being burned is totally fine. He's got two water types that are... Two fire types, excuse me. The So the Arcanine is faster than my Cedra, which is really important. Finding a way to... I wonder if I just go into Dragonite here. Finding a way to T-Wave this Arcanine would be a really big deal. I don't think he should have anything to do with my Dragonite. My Dragonite should just be fantastic into this thing. I'm going to go for it. They're the same level. How is Dragonite level 74 and Arcanine's also level 74? What is that random balance thing? That's kind of nuts. I'm going to come in here and just go for a T-Wave. Because T-Wave is so good against his team. It's so important for me. Oh, he's still thinking. Ah, oh, smart player. Really taking his time here. I feel like this guy is smart. The way, like, you can tell the way he used his Ariados, his weakest link Pokemon, to whittle down and sort of chip away at my Cedra. Really smart play. I think that is legitimately, like, such a good play. I have to keep my Cedra healthy. I really, really would like to have, obviously, it's so weak already, but I have, um, my team is pretty weak to fire type attacks except for Dragonite. I'm gonna go for T Wave here. I think it's the safest play. If he has an electric type to bring in, Morning Sun, sure. I'm super okay with that. He, shh, there's, what are the odds he has a Keel Bell on this thing? Don't think he does, but we'll see. Getting this thing T-waved is super, super nice. I think he was just going Morning Sun just to prepare for a um, 
a Draco Meteor. That's what you got to do in these situations. Get a Parahax. Nice. Dragon Tail, 32% is super solid. So I do know this thing is, is Morning Sun. Blaziken comes in. Super happy to stand against this thing. I'm probably just going to straight up T-Wave here again. I could have Dragon Tailed expecting to switch back over to Arcanine, but I'm going to T-Wave first. He's Starf. There's a good chance he goes for... There's a decent chance he goes for a U-turn over to Arcanine. It's like, he gets the Intimidate proc, he absorbs the, the Paralyze. I, I probably should have gone for Dragon Tail here. I think I think T-Wave in here was a misplay. I'm trying to spread, spread Paralysis, but too desperately, perhaps? Let's see, though. Let's see what he does. I think uh, Dragon Tail here would have been a really good play. Really surprised at the damage I did. 32% is pretty nice. He knows that it's risky for him to just U-turn over to Arcanine as well, because then I could just have Dragon Tailed and I could just be like he'd just be taking damages, but but even then he gets an intimidate. Honestly, it's still a fine play. I think I think that's your from what I see, the information that I see on his team, that's probably his best play. You turning over to Arcanine. If he makes that play, it's it's a very good play. So even if I Dragon Tail him and then he gets Yep, really good play here. Really oh my opponent is really showing his rank. Oh, but I still, I didn't, actually, I didn't know that, so, fuck, but, I, I, okay, we both made that mistake, I guess. I'm in her focus, so I can't be, um, T-waved, which is nice. Oh, and he misses the Willow. Oh, dude, I feel for my opponent there. Man, him missing that Willow is super huge. This thing might be Ice Punch. I actually fully suspect this thing is Ice Punch. Um, what do I do if it is? I think I switch over to Weezing. I fully expect this thing to be Ice Punch. I see Ice Punch all the time on this, so I have to make this play just in case. Let's fucking go. Look at, look at that. Look at that random's knowledge. You have to expect the worst. You have to expect, like, man, this primate probably has fucking... Probably has fucking, uh... Yeah, whew, probably has Ice Punch. I should go for Sludge Bomb here. Arcanine's so close to being dead. Sludge Bomb's gonna hit it for, like, 37 or whatever. Like, 41? Oof! I, I think I'm faster as well. I'm faster because of the para. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely faster. Nice. So I can freely sludge bomb here. Ooh, okay. Honestly, he he remembered. He acknowledged the speed difference and went, went for the extreme speed to get that chip. Man, my opponent is actually playing this flawlessly. I feel bad because right now it looks like I'm in the lead, but honestly, I think we're way more even matched than it looks. Oh, Rampardos comes in. What a demon. He has no priority though, correct? And I'm slightly faster? I don't think he has any priority. Should I Will-O-Wisp or Pain Split though is the, is the question. I think I have to go for the Willow. It's just so good. I thought I missed there for a sec. I think Willow is just too good to pass up on Rampardos. Sets up Stealth Rocks. Oh. Huh. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and Pain Split here now, which is huge. Against no matter what he brings in. A little scared of something like SD. He could also rock polish, I guess. He could he could have both of those, but he's will o wisped. I think this Rampardo's play was kind of bad. I think he was maybe he was a little too desperate to set up rocks. Um, and yeah, maybe. And I hate to say that because my dude, my I, this is like my opponent's played so well. I think my opponent has played like this has been one of the best opponents I've seen in a while. Really huge shout out to you, ASC. You've played this game very incredibly. I do think that um. Like, this was a little bit of a rush. And I could be wrong. You know, we could see the post game. We could see both sides. And maybe this was the correct play. I think he I think he came in to rush Delph Rocks to try to uh, push my Weezing out of the game for free, if that makes sense. So if I switched it out, I couldn't bring it back in sort of situation. Um, I think that was his goal here. And I think it was I think it was a little too rushed. But we'll see. Oh, that Rocky Helmet damage, too. Oh, my God. Pussy's Life Orb. Oh, my poor guy. I think I always just sludge bomb here. Part of me wants to pain split, expecting a, there's no reason he there's no reason to ever switch here. So I just sludge. Yeah. This Weezing, dude, Weezing is also such a demon, dude. It's such a hard Pokemon to answer in randoms. Um, it having levitate. You have to have you have to have like a psychic attack. Like you have to have it sucks, man. Like you literally have to have this Weezing also like perfectly counters his U-turn Blaziken and everything. And his Primeape. Like this 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 Weezing really does just answer so much here. Um I'm definitely going to die to whatever attack, like a Flare Blitz or whatever he throws up, but I'm probably going to go for a Pain Split just in case I live. I think that's my best play. I could technically go over to uh, Dragonite as well. Fire Blast. He's special. Okay. I respect it. I respect it. 
Okay, how do I win this game? Fire Blast. I know that he's Choice Scarf, so I know he's locked into Fire Blast, obviously. Um, don't think Fire Blast kills me on Seedra at this HP. Maybe I could go over to Electabuzz and set up screens just in case. Do I need to do that, though, is the play? Seedra might actually die Fire Blast uh, post-Rocks damage. Yeah, I think so. What's my best play here, man? Oh, I just dropped Dragonite and T-Wave, don't I? Oh yeah, that play is so good. What the? Why did I? Why did I think about that sooner? Yeah, going Dragonite and T Wave in here is just so free. Uh, dealing with the speed of his Pokemon is just super, super important here. Let's see if he has an Electric type. Okay, nope. Okay, we're fine. Okay, I was like, if he has an Electric type here, that would be really unfortunate to absorb the uh, or a Ground type. Could have had a couple answers to absorb the T Wave there. Okay, so we do get that parod, but I'm scared of this thing having either Dragon Tail or. What else could I could it have? I'm gonna drag until here myself. Poison jabs. Does get the poison. Fair enough, fair enough. 33% on that. Blaziken comes in. Okay, that's really good. Actually, if I brought in the prime up there, it could have been a really dumb play. I might be I might be losing the game. I might be inting a little bit, honestly. Might be inting a little bit. I think he's gonna go superior here. No, he just stays in and goes for the HP. Wow. Okay. I sack my Dragonite, unfortunately. Hmm. This is tough. This is actually so tough. He's locked into the HP, but what is it is the question, right? What is the HP? I'm gonna go Electabuzz while he's locked into a weak move and set up set up screens, man. I've gotta set I've gotta set up screens here. I've got to. I'm gonna set up reflect first. Because pretty much everything. Everything's physical. Obviously, the Blaziken is mixed, but this thing probably has EQ or something as well. Is it even worth setting up the light screen? It's, it's light clay. Oh, no, it's EV light, not light clay. No, no, no. So I'm just going to Vault Switch here, but I'm, I'm a faster Vault Switch, so what do I... Do I go Tropius or something? This is really tough, honestly. I can't even Toxic this thing, and I'm slower. Actually, no, no, I'm faster on Tropius. Okay, I'm going to Vault Switch over to Tropius, I think, and go for a Leech Seed. Uh, do I really? Do I really? I'm assuming he's going for a poison jab, I guess. My team is in a really bad position here, surprisingly. Like, being... Oh, he goes for EQ. Okay, perfect. Being Blossom and Tropius as my last two Pokemon against, like, all of the rest of his team is really, really hard for me. I'm going to Leech Seed here. Okay. I'm going to sub on this next turn. Okay, I'm fine with that. Please don't poison me, though. That'd be nice. Okay. Ooh, Shed Skin. That's actually a really big deal. Actually, such a big deal. I didn't even think about that. Smart play, man, by my opponent. I think I actually did it here, then. Uh, expecting either a Switch or... I'm gonna Giga. He has Flamethrower? I want to be able to kill a Surviper here. I know I can't sub here, obviously. This plus the Leech Seed should kill, correct? Yes, okay. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Whew, okay, at least we got one. This is actually such a hard game for me to win, man. I have to lock his, like, his Blaziken into something weird. Ugh, this is such a weird game for me. He's obviously got Ice Punch coming in. I wonder if this is the position. Oh, this might be where I bring in Seedra, honestly. Yeah, I think this is my best bet to bring in Seedra. But no, it's slower than it, so it'll still probably die. Oh, this is so tough, dude. Do I sack Tropius here? Do I really? To bring in, like, faster Electabuzz? And Volt Switch? Volt Switch just isn't that good here. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna sack. I'm gonna sack here. It shouldn't matter. This is actually such a tough game. Such a tough game, man. My Reflect wears off. Oh, it's so tough. I'm going to go back into Electabuzz and go for the Reflect. This this is like might be a lost game because of my last couple Pokemon. It's so tough, man. It's so tough. Maybe I'm just inting this though. Maybe you guys are seeing like, what you know, what the fuck is he doing? Like he's fucking inting, you know? But I feel like this is... I'm not quite... I have to, I have to be able to Giga Drain or Quiver Dance twice on my Blossom to really win this. I'm gonna set up light screen as well, actually, here, because I'm scared of the fire blast from Blaziken. 
I'm gonna go for it, yeah. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna set up both, because I really want to be able to... I want to be able to bring in Blossom, man, at some point, but there's just never been a good position so far. I'm gonna Vault Switch here. I think I Vault Switch over to Seedra here, and this is a position where hopefully I'm able to live with double screens up. This has been an incredibly... Oh, yeah, he's Scarf, so I actually get to see... Okay, okay, okay. This has actually been an incredibly close, incredibly interesting game. Wait, he's locked into Focus Blast here? This is the perfect time to bring a Blossom. This is actually the time. Can we win this game now? We might actually be able to win now. With double screens up, he's locked into Focus Blast. This is the perfect time to start Quiver Dancing. Oh, this is perfect. Let's see. Let's see if we can take out this W. I think I have to go for a second Quiver Dance here to be faster than... Oh, I need to calc this, dude. I need to calc. Oh, man. What is... um? You guys will actually see the Windows calculator come up, I'm pretty sure. 125. This, this is just so important. Times 1.5. 187. Yeah, I'm slower. I'm slower. I'm gonna go for the second Quiver Dance. No! He's fucking Encore Primeape! Oh, if I just Giga Drained there! No! Oh, why is he Encore Pri I've never seen that. Are you kidding me? Oh, dude, it's so sad. No. Oh, man, I could have just won the game. It's so sad. That's so incredibly sad, guys. Oh, man. I static him. Okay, actually good. Okay, I just go back over to, to Blossom now, I think, and just or some shit immediately or do i just now i can come in and abuse cedra maybe oh, it's so sad that's actually so sad this is such a close game i just stalled here and hope that i do enough maybe he gets para hacked that would be the way to victory honestly nope he's ccing though to the moon So unfortunate. So unfortunate. Man. I, I, can't, I can never go for a Quiver Dance here. I always have to dig a... Yeah. Because I just can't let him Encore me. Like, it's I can't risk it. Um, and I'm slower than him with one Quiver Dance, so... Man, this is unfortunate. So, But I'm Moonlight, so... I think my best bet here, this is so weird, but my best bet is to play a little stally, go for the Quiver Dance. He misses Fire Blast? Yes, that's what I needed. This game's winnable. Holy fuck, this game is winnable. This game has been so intense. This is the game that I need to win to get back to uh, the ranking. If I can get faster and tanky, I can, I can, it's okay, that's fine. I can Moonlight here. That's fine. I can, I think I'm faster now. I think I'm finally faster. I can go for Moonlight here. And I can tank another Fire Blast, I believe. Moonlight. I'm faster. Okay, we put up to fit. We put up to 100%, basically. He can also miss Fire Blast. This, this, I think this game's winnable. 42? Okay. Okay. I think this game's actually winnable. If I get burned, it's not like that bad, but... He has to like crit or burn me here or some shit. Okay. I actually think this game is fucking winnable. No way. No way. Actually, no way. I have to Moonlight here. I think I win. Oh, I feel bad for my opponent, but I think I win on a Moonlight here. No, I ever risk. Because if I, if I, if I, he crits me there, I die. If I Quiver Dance again, but if I Moonlight here, it's fine. Wow. Oh my goodness. Think I'm out of crit range there from it? Yeah, after the, yeah, yeah I, def, I definitely will be after another Quiver. I don't know how many Quivers I need to, to one shot it with Giga Drain though, which is a little scary. Burden shouldn't matter too much. I think I've got it. I think I've won this game. I'm just going to play it really safe. Moonlight up here, obviously, again. I think I'm going to look to get your drain here. I think four times is enough. I might not one-shot, but I'll do enough to where... I need to, I need to make sure I'm out of crit damage. But I don't care about the burn. The burn should not matter. It stops my leftover sustain, but I'm out of range here. Plus, I'll sustain. He goes for the FF. GG's. What an ins- Oh, 73 match making points. Oh. 
We're 27 points away. One more win away from the Sceptile. Plus, we got eight ELO red, 650 plus. What an incredible game to end on. Fuck, this random sessions was so incredibly fun and so hype. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. Also, almost at a 40 to 20 win-loss ratio. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like on it for that incredible Blossom Quiver Dance pull-through. Him having to miss in that Fire Blast matters so much on turn one. Oh, an incredible... An incredible series like the video subscribe to the channel for more pokemon daily uploads check out the discord link down below and if you want to go above and beyond there's also financial links down below and check out my live streams here where i kind of uh, usually shiny hunts or do my gym runs uh every monday through thursday at 12 p.m eastern but i'll see you guys later peace thanks for watching what a fun time